House lawmakers want answers from the Army on its plan to outfit combat vehicles with protection systems capable of countering unmanned aircraft systems, according to the Tactical Air and Land Forces Subcommittee's markup of the fiscal 2022 Defense Authorization Bill, released July 28. The Army has been struggling for years to install active protection systems onto its Abrams tanks, Bradley infantry fighting vehicles and striker combat vehicles. While it has been able to field an interim system on its Abrams tanks, the Army has fallen behind with an interim system installation for the Bradley. The effort to equip strikers with an APS is on the back burner because it was determined there is no system suitable for the platform. The Army is also working toward an integrated vehicle protection system suite for its combat vehicles. Three Armenian troops died in border clashes with Azerbaijani forces on Wednesday, Yerevan said, in the deadliest military incident between the arch foes since their war last year over the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. As a result of armed action launched following an attack by Azerbaijani forces, there are three dead and two wounded from the Armenian side, the defense ministry in Yerevan said. It said an intense shootout took place near the village of Sotk at the northeastern sector of the border shared by the Caucasus neighbors. Armenia's foreign ministry said that the Azerbaijani side is deliberately escalating the situation as its forces remain illegally on Armenia's sovereign territory. The UK and Kenya have signed a new defence cooperation agreement to tackle the shared threat from al-Shabaab. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace and Kenyan Cabinet Secretary for Defence Drive Monica Juma signed the deal, according to the Ministry of Defence here. The UK and Kenya already regularly work together to counter the threat from al-Shabaab, not only through training as strengthened in the DCA, but also by sharing information and identifying new ways to target the group financially with sanctions and starve them of new recruits by addressing the root causes of violent extremism. British troops currently help to train over 1,100 Kenyan soldiers every year before they deploy to the African Union mission in Somalia. ROF has redefined the role of its twin-engine Leonardo C-27J Spartan to enhance response and engagements by focusing on humanitarian aid and disaster relief HADR, crisis response and regional engagements across the Indo-Pacific. The aircraft is now being referred to more broadly as a light tactical fixed-wing aircraft. Ten C-27JS were acquired under Project Air 8000 Phase 2, battlefield airlift capability, and the first aircraft arrived in Australia in June 2015. However, after six years in service the aircraft still has not achieved final operational capability, FOC, and this is now not expected to occur until the end of the financial year. It is worth noting that Andorin Franks has recently received the first two of four additional CH-47F Chinooks, acquired under rapid foreign military sales acquisition from the U.S. government. The Canadian Armed Forces struggles to maintain its current strength. While preparing for the next generation of warfare, reservists will be expected to be as competent as regular force members. Their interoperability should hence be guaranteed by advanced combined arms simulation and exercise experience. Only in this way can the combat effectiveness of the force be maintained. Reservists will command units in the form of operation debriefs, and the training software should include weapon systems available to the CAF. The simulation should be run by two opposing teams, while requiring very few or no umpires. The Battlespace simulation software developed should support map-based wargaming of hypothetical scenarios, and hence provide proof of concept and theoretical backing for combined arms exercise plans. The simulation process could include optional battle domains, such as electronic warfare, that are not normally explored. Some commercial options provide good starting points, such as Command Modern Operations on Steam.